Hello again, it's your friendly neighborhood host, J.T. Wheatley, back for another episode of the History Comics Podcast, this time another edition of Classics with Pride of Baghdad by Brian K. Vaughn and Nico Henriken, which was a graphic novel released in 2006 that was inspired by the story from uh, 2003 during the uh, uh, Iraq War invasion, in which a, uh, during the, which a group of Pride of uh, Lions escaped the Baghdad Zoo and found themselves wandering the uh, um, the landscape of uh, the war ravaged bad dad and told from their perspective you see these private lines basically taking a different perspective of how the, the Iraq war is going and also they have the kind of different uh, other animals as well that tend to represent other aspects of uh, the, the Iraq war for instance they run into a bunch of monkeys it's kind of implied they're the looters and uh, so forth and it's just a fantastic story that through an animal perspective and a real life story inspiration gives a great uh, story about what the effects of war and how there people different opinions on them it is a beautifully written story brian k vaughn he doesn't really pick sides he just shows us what the horrors of war are to this a unique perspective of, of just the animal collateral damage like these were like just some poor animals that were just in the zoo uh, living their life and next thing you know they're in the middle of a war zone and it's matched beautifully by Henrik's gorgeous art, which has an almost painterly style to it. Some of the best art you'll ever see in any kind of graphic novel. And there's a reason why this novel is considered one of the best graphic novels released in 2006 and since then. It's this beautiful work from beginning to end, a great contained story, all, all up to a, just a wonderful ending and so forth. So, yeah, just uh, do check it out. Uh, looking for a great, uh, powerful story, uh, kind of anti-war in a, a certain ways. But like I said, Bond doesn't really pick sides. Just to pick, writes the story out as it is and let you make your own conclusions. But, yeah, beautiful uh, read from beginning to end. So you're looking for a true classic read and one of the more unique comic book stories put out in recent years. Check out Pride of Bad Dad, because that is a true classic. Super Kick Party. It's the wrestling podcast from the host who is the hammer swinging, burrito eating, well, you know the rest of Thunder Talk. <laughs> Sexy. Four. It's the Ring of Thunder found in the Thunderverse and among the great podcasts of the ESO Network. Now it is uh, February 2nd, uh, 2023, time for the favorite comic of the week, uh, Batman Beyond the White Knight, number uh, 7, by uh, Sean Murphy, which finds that Terry McGinnis finally uh, going after Derek Powers uh, after, after the shocking revelation from last issue, only for Powers to turn the tables on him in a pretty unique way. Meanwhile, Bruce Wayne unites the rest of Bat family to finally take down Powers once and for all. Sean Murphy does a really great job with this uh, alternate uh, Elseworlds uh, Batman story that really mixes in all the great best elements of all the best uh, Batman stories from here and there. And of course, Batman Beyond is very nicely incorporated here with Terry McGillis. But he also does some, some cool, unique things that I still love. I love how Harley Quinn's now incorporated into the Bat family in a very cool way that, that if you've been reading Batman White Knight from the very beginning, it makes complete sense. It's a great evolution, evolution of her character, at least in this uh, version of the story. And it's matched by his gorgeous art. He does some of the best interpretations of all these classic uh, characters who look just like their characters from the original run, but has a nice twist on them. And sports, no exception, is, of course, the Batman Beyond, Terry McDennis, who looks awesome and cool. His armors never look more cooler and threatening. So all in all, one of my favorite Batman stories in general, and the Batman White Knight universe in general is probably one of my favorite Batman uh, lines. All in all, Shumar just keeps carrying out great stories love reading every bit of them i hope he keeps continuing in some form or another though this feels like it might be a conclusion because it's going to be like a it feels like a nice trilogy wrap up but if he has another story in him i would love to see it because this has been a great uh, ride from beginning to end and with that uh, we'll conclude this week's uh, episode of course being february 2nd happy groundhog day everyone apparently uh, that uh, darn groundhog in Punxsutawney is going to give us six more weeks of winter but hey just stay in the house and enjoy some good comic books. Uh, that's why I say if it's, if it's that cold outside. So join me again next week for another edition of Classics. And like I said before, go out and enjoy yourself a good comic book. <laughs>